Hello my friends, may God bless you. Hope you all are having a blessed day. So today we will be going to do the Bible study on the book of Joel. First we will be going to read Joel chapter 1 verse 1 to 7. It is regarding an invasion of locust. That topic starts from Joel chapter 2. So today we will be going to read Joel chapter 1 verse 1 to 2. First we will be going to read Joel chapter 1 verse 1 to 2. Please join with me for reading. The word of the Lord that came to Joel son of Pethuel. Now we will be going to read on the topic of an invasion of locust. Hear this, you elders. Listen, all who live in the land. Has anything like this ever happened in your days or in the days of your forefathers? Tell it to your children and let your children tell it to their children and their children to the next generation. What the locust swarm has left, what the great, the great locust have eaten, what the great locust have left, the young locust have eaten, what the young locust have left, other locust have eaten. Wake up, you drunkards, and weep. Wail, all you drinkers of wine. Wail because of the new wine. For it has been snatched from, the, from your lips. A nation has invaded my land, powerful and without number. It has the teeth of a lion, the fangs of a lioness. It has laid waste my vines and ruined my fig trees. It has stripped off their bark and thrown it away, leaving their branches white. And now we'll be going to read Joel chapter 1 verse 12 to 13. The vine is dried up and the fig tree is withered. The pomegranate, the palm and the apple tree. All the trees of the field are dried up. Surely the joy of mankind it is withered away. The Joel chapter 13 is under the topic of a call to repentance. Put on sackcloth, O priest, and mourn. Veil you who minister before the altar. Come spend the night in sackcloth, you who minister before my God. For the grain offerings and drink offerings are withheld from the house of your God. And now we'll be going to read Joel chapter 2 verse 18 to 22. It is under the topic of the Lord's answer. Then the Lord will be jealous for his, ha for his land and take pity on his people. The Lord will reply to them, I am sending you grain, new wine and oil, enough to satisfy you fully. Never again will I make you an object of scorn to the nations. I will drive the northern army far from you, pushing it into a parched and barren land, with its front columns going into the eastern sea, and those in the rear rear into the western sea and its stench will go up, its smell will rise. Surely he has done great things. Be not afraid, O land. Be glad and rejoice. Surely the, surely the Lord has done great things. Be not afraid, O wild animals, for the open pastures are becoming green. The trees are bearing their fruit. The fig tree and the wine yield their riches. Be glad, O people of Zion. Rejoice in the Lord your God, for he has given you the autumn rains in righteousness. He sends you abundant showers, both autumn and spring rains as before. The threshing floors will be filled with grain. The vats will overflow with new wine and oil. I will repay for you for the years the locust have eaten, the great locust and the young locust, the other locust and the locust swarm. You will have plenty to eat until you are full. You and you will praise the name of the Lord your God who has worked wonders for you. Never again will my people be shamed. Then you will know that I am in Israel, that I am the Lord your God and there is no other. Never again will my people be shamed. And now we'll be going to read on the, uh, Joel chapter 3 verse 9 to 10. It is on the topic of the nations judged. Proclaim this among the nations. Prepare for war. Rouse the warriors. Let all the fighting men draw near and attack. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weakling say, I am strong. And now we'll be going to read Joel chapter 3 verse 16. The Lord will roar from Zion and thunder from Jerusalem. The earth and the sky will tremble, but the Lord will be a refuge for his people, a stronghold for the people of Israel. And now we'll be going to read Joel chapter 3 verse 20. It is under the topic of blessings for God's people. Judah will be inhabited forever and Jerusalem through all generations. By this you could understand the tremendous power of God. God is your victory. God will provide you victory. Amen. And 
and that is all for today so i hope you understood everything in today's bible study if you have any questions regarding this bible study or any past bible study feel free to comment down below and i will provide you with the answers so my dear friends if you enjoyed this video make sure to smash that like button as always don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the tomorrow's bible study may the grace of our lord jesus christ be with you today tomorrow and always may god bless you abundantly amen and